photo courtesy of NCAA The team's lineup for the opening tip-off of Saturday's 93-84 first-round NCAA tournament victory by third-seeded Kansas over No. 14 seed Eastern Washington at Indiana Farmers Coliseum in Indianapolis. Third-seeded Kansas's second-round clash with No. 6 seed USC will tip off at 8.40 p.m. Central on Monday night at famed Hinkle Fieldhouse in Indianapolis. The game will be televised on CBS, with Ian Eagle, Grant Hill and sideline reporter Jamie Erdahl on the call. Hinkle Fieldhouse, which is home to Butler University and also the state title scenes in the classic basketball movie Hoosiers, has an actual capacity of 9,100 and an adjusted allowance of 1,250 14%, for first and second round NCAA tournament games because of social distancing measures. The timing on Monday's tip-off is potentially fortuitous for the Jayhawks, who are still hoping to get Jalen Wilson back from COVID-19 isolation in time for their second-round game. KU coach Bill Self said earlier this week that it was possible Wilson could rejoin the team on Monday but that the tip time would be a key part of whether he would be able to play if cleared. Wilson, who tested positive nine days ago, has been in Lawrence ever since his positive test that forced the Jayhawks to withdraw from the Big 12 tournament. Even without him, the Jayhawks moved into the second round with a 93-84 win over 14th-seeded Eastern Washington on Saturday afternoon. KU freshman Bryce Thompson started in Wilson's place. And the game also featured the return of KU big man David McCormick from his own COVID-19 isolation. Wilson scored 22 points and grabbed 9 rebounds in 25 minutes during the win, with 20 points coming in the second half. Ku improved to 21-8 with the win and will face a USC team that advanced to the second round with a 72-56 victory over Drake. Check back with CuSports.com throughout the day Sunday and Monday for more on the Jayhawks second round matchup. Ku Sports Extra. Jayhawks do enough to advance versus. Tough EWU squad B CuSports. Com Bill Self. Marcus Garrett speak to media after Ku's 93-84 win over EWUBY Cusports. Com Eastern Washington coach Shantae Leggins after 93-84 loss to Kansas in NCAA Turnibi Cusports.com.